Hi, I'm Dave McLaren and I'm outside the GNL Guitar Factory here on Fender Avenue in Fullerton, California. And today we're going to take a little look at the people and processes that go on here and a little peek into the history of the company and how it was formed and why. Let's go. Hey Manny, how are you? How are you doing? Good. Yeah, what do you got? Some side dots going yeah. in? Well, you started here 1993, right? I love how we, having people who've been around a long time, they keep the soul and the uh, sort of the story together, sort of cohesive. So it's never like there's a period where it doesn't have its original mojo. In January of 1966, Leo formed CLF Research, and that was where he remained for the duration of his consultancy to Fender, which expired in 1970. CLF Research begins with his ending closing work at Fender, and it passes through his work at Music Man and on through his work at GNL. So CLF Research, while it's a brand we celebrate today on certain GNL guitars and basses, it's really to pay tribute to this umbrella, if you will, of Leo Fender's work. And this is Leo Fender's lab. I consider it the heart and soul of the factory in this building. It's a really cool place. We'll come back and take a good look in here another time. The history extends further back than 1980 when GNL started. This factory was originally opened in 1976. Its first job was to manufacture the Music Man Stingray guitar and Stingray bass. Those were the first products from here. We could say the earliest products here were also sort of GNL and that George Fullerton was the stylist for the earliest Music Man products. He was also styling the first GNLs, which, apart from the headstock and the logo, was kind of a continuation. Now I'm in the repair department, and we're going to meet Memo. And Memo, you have been here since 1991? 91. 91. There we go. <laughs> I had long hair back then. Hey, thanks for being here, Memo. I appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Those look great. Thank you. So the reason why GNL was formed is because the business relationship among all the individuals involved in Music Man before that kind of fell apart. Towards 1979, it became like two camps where you have the, the Music Man office where they made amplifiers and handled the sales and marketing. Uh, but then you have CLF Research, which is the factory, and anytime we've, we've got these two camps, especially with two different names, it lends itself to sort of uh, friction, if you will. And that friction mounted to the point where ultimately there had to be a separation, and the factory continued on, but with a new brand name, GNL. Hey everybody, meet Marco. Marco started here in 1994, I believe. Well, it's great to have you, Marco. I really appreciate it. Now I'm in the electronics department and we're gonna meet Carmen. And Carmen has been here since 1986, is that right? 1986, uh -huh. I think, do you have the date? I thought you remembered that. Yeah, uh, May 15, 1986. So Leo Fender was signing the paychecks back then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Leo Fender Karma's working on some L2000 uh, preamp and control assemblies right now. So 
so we've just stepped inside Leo's Lounge, which is kind of the heart of the GNL factory here. And GNL, of course, stands for George Fullerton and Leo Fender. And I thought you'd notice this big wall of guitars and bases behind me. It represents our history, of course, and we love this notion that all this rich history is very much part of our factory, part of our family, and uh, part of the fabric that's in all of the GNL instruments today. Now I'm in the finished goods warehouse and this is the last stop before these instruments are shipped out to our dealers in the U.S. and around the world. I'd like to meet Ken. Ken started here in 1992. A long time ago. Yeah, just a year <laughs> after Leo passed away. So he's a fixture here and it's, it's wonderful to have you, Ken. Thanks. Thank you very much. So I hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse into Fender Avenue and the world that is CLF Research and GNL Guitars. So we've just touched the surface now. There's plenty more to come in coming videos. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the cool stuff coming up on the new GNL Guitars channel. Thank you.